Hello everybody, uh, this is Gamer Troll, and um, after thanks, I'd like to say thanks to everybody who, who liked my uh, my last video um, playing Manic Miner. Um, a load of friends of mine who have uh, this Vega have been asking uh, or been having a few problems with uh, getting ROMs to work on them. Uh, they've got the games and stuff, but they want they want like the the Vega download and stuff. Uh, you know, they're getting like ROMs off sites and things, and for some reason they can't load them up. So I thought I'd do a little computer bit and sort of show how I've been getting them on anyway, and hopefully it will help out. Um, right, okay, right. You got your ROMs. There's a few which I've dragged. Um, get your your drive. Um, the drive adapter for the mini SD and um, shove it in there we go uh, open the files it's really not too bad um, the main thing is to remember that you can go left and right on the menus it seems like a little thing but it's not obvious and you can miss your games uh, no I don't want to scan it knobhead right okay and what you do so I've got my files there, I don't know why that's out there. Um, these should go inside the... I've made a Vega Games file. And in it goes, as long as it's um, a TAP or a Z80 file or whatever, it will work. I've already got one in there, that's why. Um, right, so these are the ones that I've taken. These directly off the internet, and you'll notice they come in two forms. Some of them are already uh, extracted, like this. So they're ready to just sort of transfer, just drag and drop straight in to your Vega games file on your SD card. Uh, I think it did it, didn't it? Let's have a look. Um, what was one of them? Dizzy f Thrust. Yeah, there you go. Thrust and Thrust 2. So... Those are the ones I found the other day, which are... Uh, oh, it's worth saying that you're meant to have these games. Um, I do have bags and boxes and boxes of these old tapes, and half of them don't even work, so... They can try and chase me up for it. Um, right, let's have a look. Right, so here's the different type of file. So, um, that one, the Dizzy 4... The Dizzy... Uh, oh, bloody hell. What's this one? It's meant to be Dizzy 4, it's Dizzy 5. But anyway, um, it's, it's Dizzy 7. What the hell? Yeah, sorry, I can't read. Um, right, so uh, what you do here is you extract the file. Extract all. Yes. Preventing this file from being encrypted. I don't know. I haven't seen that before. Let's ignore that. What's this? Oh, there you go. Look. So there it is. You want that basic file. You see that if you... The tap file. So there you go. You're away. Drag and drop in your Vegas. See? Well, that was new. It always seems to throw something different in your face, but ultimately, if you get them unzipped, look, there's there's a zipped one. I have no idea why that's in there, because you cannot access that. But, um, right, so that's it. That's literally how you do it. So, so if I sort of close that, pull out the file, the SD card, um, extract this. This is the proper uh, the mini SD card. Get it and shove it in the bottom. Oh shit. You really don't want to drop these things. Can't see them for shit. Got sweaty hands, it's hot in here. It's real hot. Okay, so if I reset it. Here we go, the ROMs should be there. Um press B. And you've got Vega Games. Now, if you press on it, select on it, finished reading, 
Some people are like, Airwolf, Alienate, what's going on? Or whatever it is they've had. Um, but of course you press left and right, and then you can see everything else you've put on there. Um, so I don't know if this is going to work or not, because you never quite know until you try it. But here we go, I'll, I'll try it thrust now. Uh, yeah, it hasn't mapped the buttons yet, obviously, but usually you can get away with it. Um, great. Doesn't this do keyboard? Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? Do you wish to redefine the keys? No, I just want to use a keyboard. Uh, just going to use a virtual keyboard. There's quite a nifty touch with this Vega. Press any key to start. Yeah, yeah. Probably not. No, I can't control it. That's a bastard. So you have to redefine the keys and everything if you want to play this game. But that's what your minor difficulties in comparison to actually putting it on here. So let's see if something else works. I'll go for dizzy or something like that. Oh yeah, let's have a go at Ghosts and Goblins. This is such a swine of a game. They're all swine games like this, aren't they? Uh, select joystick. Um, this this controller is meant to be completely um, compatible with the Kempson. Are oh, you swine? All right, let's try this again. J and digits two and press enter. Are oh, you swine? It's gone back in it. Oh, zero start game. What a git not having a keyboard, eh? Right. No, that's O. Great. Digits? No? Yeah! Yay! Take the princess away. Won't be seeing her again. Yeah, that, that's the side effects. <laughs> Plays well, though. That, all that colour clash makes seeing things pretty difficult, but this you, this game is uh, doesn't really matter what platform you play it on. Ghosts and Goblins is like a classic nightmare game. Surprised how fast and far I'm getting here. Oh great! I don't quite know one of those went straight through me. Oh yeah, you want that dagger? Dagger's a goodie. It's the fire you don't want, that's crap. And one hit and I'm dead now because I haven't got my armor on. Oh, well there you go. Right on time. That's it, I'm determined. I've got to at least see that demon at the end of this. This level. No, I didn't want to jump. When you jumped, that's it. <laughs> see, it... Sometimes you jump and you land on stuff that wasn't there when you started jumping. Oh, you knob. I'm never going to survive this at this rate. It's going to be... Yes! <laughs> well, thankfully, he flew right through me. Oh yes, there is the demon. Yes! Absolutely! That's an old trick used to work. If you let him get by, you're stuffed. Ooh. A couple of little flying gits, if I remember rightly, and then there's a boss. Oh, no. Need to be more on my toes than that. Don't I? Hang on. Oh, there's the little flying swines. Oh, no, come on. I jumped into that. Oh, that the boss was right there. Oh. Let's you continue. Oh, you absolute spud. Little flying monkey fuckers. I don't know what they are. Oh, come on. Flipping trolls, bouncing trolls that shoot balls at you, which, like, to be fair, considering how fast your character moves, you ain't dodging out of it as soon as you can see it. You've got to anticipate that he's going to shoot it. Oh, come on. 
if you get the bounce with it. Oh no, I killed him and actually could have gone in. Five lives. That won't go far in the next level. Now you can actually kneel down. There's some versatility in your movement here. <laughs> come on, come on. No, yes! Have it! Yeah, I'm coming in. Right, this is horrible. God, the way they move, it's like, come on. You little kids. Ooh, <laughs> that's... Come on, let's keep going then. Oh, no. That's a, a lot of these monochromatic spectrum games. They've got like a one colour for the whole level. Oh. Ah, oh, come on. I'm not sure that these. It's very authentic. This rubber, this rubber key business that the uh, the Vega's got going on, but I'm not sure it was the best choice, really. I know that my original my original 48k Spectrum, my dad changed the uh, changed the keyboard for like a proper push button keyboard because the rubber one's so annoying. We still got it somewhere. I think I use it as a wall hanging, <laughs> like a retro wall hanging decoration. Oh come on! Right, I hate those things. I really hate these things. I don't. Th I think they've got me to the point where they've beat me psychologically here. So, like, I just really can't beat this level because I'm pretty certain that I can't beat this level right now. It's going to take some practice. Oh, look, I had one life left there. I'm sure of it. It's flipping done me in. I've been, I've been flipping swizzed. Oh, well. Anyway. Got to put your name in on something like this, haven't you? Actually, you know what? This, this has been great, but I'm going to bugger off now because, like, it's nice outside. I don't know whether you can see that. I think I might... Ah, uh, actually, I might stay inside because if I go outside, I'll have to do the lawn. That grass is a bit long. All right, then. Thanks for watching. Bye.